You know, this game was a tricky game. Um, you know, it came after, uh, you know, we tried to upgrade our schedule, went down to Auburn, didn't play uh, great, uh, and uh, went through a, little, a few little travel deals. And, you know, then you're coming home and you're playing against a team that is really, really good. This was a 20-win game or a 20-win team from the year before who had beaten Colorado at Colorado, beaten New Mexico State at New Mexico State, played in the postseason, senior-laden team, very well coached, uh, limit possessions. It was really scary, to be honest with you. We were the staff. We were just trying to find energy. You know, you're trying to get those guys, uh, you know, when, when we have energy and our defense is on, we're pretty good. When when, when it's not, you're, you're trying to find it. You're trying to generate it. And um, their style of play, they, they did a heck of a job. Uh, but, you know, offensively, uh, we go through periods where, you know, we really move the ball and we look like we're, we're a well-oiled machine and then we go through little droughts. Uh, but the one thing that we can always hang our hat on is our defense. And I think for the most part in the second half when we needed to get stops, we did. Uh, when we needed to get a rebound, we did. When we needed to get an offense rebound, we did. We have to play in those sense of urgency for longer periods of time. I mean, it's... Uh, you know, how many times did we get eight point leads and we just we gave it back and that's that's stuff from last year uh, and we've got to grow from that now these teams you got to give San Diego a lot of credit um, they they pose a lot of a lot of problems they're a lot like uh, like when we played SPU they, they you can't turn them over they're very well coached they got great spacing they've got Panera uh, uh, what's his, how do you pronounce his last name uh, Panero is a is a heck of a player that they can run through he can pass dribble and shoot in that high post, and then they've got really good solid guards that can all shoot and, and, and are very uh, you know, great basketball IQs. So, you know, uh, energy, we found it when we needed it. We didn't have it the whole game, but, um, you know, we won. And that's that's at the end of the day, that's all we were trying to get through is let's do that. Let's let's get a win. Let's fight. We had to, when we had to find it, we did. And now we got a day off tomorrow, and we get ready for Vancouver. You mentioned those scoring droughts. Um, Jalen said that it's a lack of ball movement that kind of leads to those. Yeah. What are you seeing when, when those are happening? Well, sometimes, you know, those are, you know, we try to get the ball to Noah Dickerson. I mean, I don't think that's a, that's a secret. Uh, and so sometimes, you know, that, that you're going to have lack of ball movement. And so Noah uh, is obviously really good. And when he gets two guys, uh, you know, he can pass out and you get a wide open shot. Now, I thought we got good shots. And that's the key to offense. Uh, sometimes, no, I thought he could have passed it out earlier uh, to where, you know, two guys come and, and now we've got them. We're playing four versus three. Um, but we went through a period today where, you know, the ball movement was great. Everybody was touching it. We started penetrating and kicking. And uh, we had a great flow. But sometimes when you try to get the ball inside, that's what happens. It's, it's kind of methodical. Uh, you know, get it to Tim Duncan and space. And, and so... Uh, uh, sometimes that that gets us a little stagnant. I feel like uh, like San Diego did a good job because of the way that they play. It limits possessions, less possessions, and that also kind of hurts your offensive rhythm sometimes. Coach, with Noah, he's a, he plays hard, he's emotional, he's flailing. Um, how do you keep him reined in enough where it's a benefit and not a detriment? You know, we we we're we're, we're you know, talking to him all the time. He's a hard guy to officiate because he's he's so good down there. And sometimes, you know, he knows how to draw fouls. He's got the he's the big man version of Ginobili. But uh, you know, he's got to be smarter than that. That's that's how the officials kind of look at him. And uh, so they they think of the flop. Um, we need to get him in the shape. Uh, you know, when he when he had the injury, he's not in the shape that he needs to be in to play great on both ends of the floor. But he. Uh, you know, he just needs to be more, we'll say, uh, you know, just, just play the game. Uh, don't sit there and flail. Just be the best big man in the, in the country, which we think he is when he's on. Um, but no, don't be a distraction. You know, don't be a distraction for uh, the referees in the crowd because sometimes those plays, you know, he got two or three offensive fouls in the two previous games, and we need him on the court. When he's on the court, we're a different team. Yeah, you know what? The officials, it, it goes back to he's been in this league for four years, and uh, they know him, and he's a hard guy to ref. 
I felt like, and some, you know, I'm not going to go specific games, but I, I, you know, because of that, sometimes it hurts them because they're already anticipating a call, and sometimes he can get an early one or an early two, and and as much as the theatrics are great, it hurts the team, and uh, he'll be better at it. And uh, I think the, a big thing is is him getting back into the shape. You know, he had that that uh, the little sprain of his knee and. He hasn't been back to the Noah Dickerson that we know. He's, he's had his moments, but we need him to be the best player in the league, which we believe he can be. Come to the last possession, what were you trying to take away and what they thought about when got to a certain point? Yeah, well, we usually foul. Well, we can't tell you when we foul because that will get us. <laughs> but, uh, um, you, yeah, I mean, we can. Uh, well, you know what we uh, we played we played it uh, down. It was three. Uh, obviously, no threes, no fouls. Don't want to stop the clock. Uh, sometimes you get in a, into a scramble situation. Um, you know, you practice situations, but um, uh, in that instance, uh, we didn't foul. Uh, and uh, um, I think with 22 on the clock, it would. You know, sometimes you're better off just what we were doing. We were switching on that ball screen, extending it out, and uh, and making sure that the five man would go to the corner, which means we'd almost have five players out, almost like a man. And uh, you know, thank God it didn't bite us. How important was it the team's psyche to get a win today after you know after the Friday? Listen, I, I you know I told you guys this before. It's like being in a sand trap. You know, if you're any golfers, uh, you know, it's like oh my gosh, I'm in the sand trap again. That's a hard shot. Might be two of them. This was a hard team to play. And, uh, you know, you're looking at your team and, you know, they're a little bit drained and you're trying to, to get that energy to come out of them. And, uh, you know, against a, a high quality team. So, um, uh, you just, I, I think, I, I think the staff, the players are relieved because this was a, a really quality team and to come out with a victory in the, in the state that we were in. You know, I mean, they're a 107 Ken Palm team, whatever uh, Auburn was. I mean, these are really good teams. And, uh, you know, I think, what was it, three games in nine nights? Is that what it's been? What, no, was is it factual? Uh, September? I don't know. What, what, what country are we in? Where are we? What? Who won the election? I can't do that. <laughs> Three game, whatever it was. The bottom point is we've been playing a lot of games. We need a day off. We need a couple of days off. Uh, travel cross country, come back, top team. Uh, and so, you know, to come out with a victory tonight, it's huge. Given all the circumstances like yep. that, that you just laid out, yep. how important is it to have – it seems like Hamir and Nas have become your energy guys. Yeah. No, there's no question about it. Our, our, the, the sophomore class has been huge. Jalen Noel, obviously, uh, when the game's on the line, my guy is just, uh, you know, he's a he's a closer. And, uh, you know, Nas came off the bench and not only sparked us uh, energy-wise, sparked us offensively. I mean, he just he just was an energy boost, a confident offensive player. Uh, we believe he can be that, that scorer off the bench when, when you, you don't have it. Hamir Wright is just one of the best all-around players on our team, if not the best all-around player. He passed dribbles and shoots. He's great defensively. He can play the forward, the center. He's 6'9". I mean, he made blocks tonight, made plays, rebounded the ball. Um, uh, those guys were not only great energy guys for us, but, uh, you know, great players. Well, what we wanted to do when Noah was out of the game, we wanted to open up the court a little bit and try to drive them and uh, use our athleticism against them and try to get them in foul trouble. And, uh, you know, we called an open and uh, it's a dribble drive. And, uh, you know, we got we got some open spots. Niles was able to, you know, take him off the bounce and his mid-range shots, as good as anybody, came in, hit the three uh, and, and, and started just, you know, taking guys off the bounce. That's what he can do. I thought in the second half, he did it. He wasn't as confident. Uh, he tried to do the scoop on the other side rather than dunking it on the one side. But that's a huge weapon for us. And to be able to get that production in the last two games from him has been huge. Coach, with Dom, played almost 18 minutes, but kind of an unusual staff for Dom. He only took one shot. Yeah. What was going on with that? You know, these types of games, you know, Dom, Dom's one of those guys. You, you, you look at his shots, but they guard him like he's Michael Jordan. So when Dom's on the court, you're, you know, you're playing four versus four. And uh, so he's a, he's a space guy. So no one's in the, Noah's on the court. You know, he's such a, a three-point threat. Um, you know, we, we'll do a better job of getting him shots. We need him to get some shots. Um, but for the most part, every game's going to be different. Um, 
the, I, I started putting Dom in the game because he's active defensively. He rebounds, and uh, uh, you know he's he's great. You know he's really good for us defensively. But One more guys. I haven't gotten a chance to talk to you, obviously, but the fire the bus. Yeah. Yeah. All I can remember is being in the front seat and the and uh, the guys in the back saying, "I think there's a flat tire." And we're going. Am I allowed to talk about this? Yeah. All right. And so I don't know. <laughs> I, at mom. Mom, can I talk about this? Three and seven. And three and seven. So we go. We we're going. And uh, I'm sitting in the front seat, and again, it's just, you know, what we just went, you know, we didn't play our best, and we didn't, you know, we just, it was just one of those games. And, uh, you know, we're driving to the airport, and you started hearing a doom, doom in the back, and the guys are like, I think there's a flat, you know, I think there's a flat, this bump, bump, bump. And uh, he pulls over to the side, and we're probably doing that for like two or three minutes, uh, and pulls over to the side, and he opens it up, he says, I think, I think we got a flat, an inside flat tire in the back. And he walks out, and uh, he comes back. He goes, "Oh my God, the bus is on fire!" <laughs> and he grabs the he grabs the fire extinguisher, and uh, I'm not going to use the, the the exact words that I used, but I'm like, "Get your stuff and get the out of the bus!" And we're going out, and we're walking out, and yeah, it's right. just like you know, it's like, "Get out, get out, get out! Don't leave your just get your you know," and uh, you know, we're, we're walking, and on the side, there's a side road, and then there's like a little ravine up on a hill. And I don't know, was it a church or a... <coughs> it, was some, I think it, was a church. it wasn't a church. It was something. And, it was something. and literally, it was like, you know, I'm walking, and, uh, and I get out, and we're going, get out of the bus. And, you know, and I go, and I step down, and I'm just like in, in I don't even know, what was it? It's like swamp water. Swamp. It was like right was here, mud. like mud. And just, you're getting out. The guys are getting out. Guys are getting out. And... Uh, you know, at the time when you're watching it, the whole back line is uh, is burnt. I mean, it's, there's there's fire. You know, fire like not like like little flame. It's fire, and uh, you know everybody gets out okay, and then the the bus driver keeps going back and forth. Now we didn't know, and I'm like, get out of the bus! Like I'm screaming, I'm get out of the bus! And he's going to get his things. What I didn't know, you know, the education part of this is the gas tank is in the front of the bus. I, we, we, what would you think it would be? In the back, so we're like, this thing's gonna blow, you know, the way that was going. So we're trying to get away. It's about 40 degrees, uh, and uh, you know, it was just, it, it was an experience uh, that, you know, I, I call them brain tattoos. I'll have that brain tattoo for the rest of my life. But everybody got out safe. Um, guys were singing songs, and they had the boom box out, and uh, kind of a, a weird way to have some team bonding through some adversity, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, and, and this is another thing with 911. Okay, I, not, 911. Uh, can you report your emergency? Yeah, our bus is on fire. Where are you? I don't know. Well, what do you mean you don't know? I, I said I'm on the. I'm, I don't know. We just played a game. We're at Auburn. I think we're in Montgomery. We're going. I don't know where I'm at. It's midnight. I can't help you. Calm down. Where are you? I'm like. Listen, where you, I'm from Seattle, and all our bus parties from Seattle. I don't know. Are you going westbound or east? I don't know. It was like one of those. But uh, what a, it was it was an experience. Um, it was an experience. But uh, uh, I got my jacket back, and it smelled like smoke. Uh, but uh, you know. Listen. At the end of the day, things happen. Everybody was was okay and survived. There was a couple computers that were burnt and some, you know, some other things. But for the most part, uh, we all survived. So, got got back. We're done. <laughs> Ash, mom, can I speak again? No. Right. Whoa, guys, that was a, that was a, that was a, that was a. You don't. That's a good win. <laughs>